This is a $10 Pokemon tin, and this is a $100 Pokemon tin. And today, I'm gonna be opening up a range of Pokemon tins from $10 all the way up to $100. The packs inside these tins range from all different prices and all different years, and hopefully we can see which tin has the best hits. But guys, before we get into that, I'm gonna be giving away hits in today's video, and all you have to do is like the button, like the button? Hit the like button, subscribe, and comment down below your favorite tin in today's video. Okay, so we're starting off today with the $10 Pokemon tin as the chim chart on the front. Now, this is actually relatively new. It's from the Sword and Shield era, I believe. Um, but we're going to crack this open and see what is inside. Now, as mentioned, there are different packs in all these different tins, which is really cool to see. So, we're going to get a wide variety and we're starting off with a fusion strike pack and a chilling rain pack so two packs from the sword and shield era um inside these sets you can get those alternate arts which could actually be pretty value for uh, money with these tins like i said these only cost ten dollars so we are going to start off with chilling rain now in this set guys has the alt art birds i actually own actually let me get it real quick five minutes later i actually own a psa 10 alt art moltres and this is from chilling rain i actually traded this card one of you guys so shout out to ayrton um i traded a base set to blastoise for this moltres which was raw and i graded it and it actually got a 10 so shout out to you man thank you managed to get a 10 but like i said guys can we pull something good in this pack let's see if we can get i actually really want the zapdos that'd be cool if we could hit that we get a crab ruler a lucky energy reverse hollow and do we get an all art uh no we literally get a fright night freddy's bonnet all right okay next one we have the fusion strike pack now this has some really nice all arts in as well guys there is the espion there is the um mew uh there's also some really really cool just artwork cards as well i actually really want the rainbow rare mute uh mu v max here we go galarian meowth and a toxtricity hollow okay so i would probably say that um we didn't luck out in terms of hits in the mini tin so let's move on to the next one so next up we have a bit of a bigger tin and not just in packs but also in size we have the sylveon v tin right here um i actually cannot remember what packs are in this so we're going to open this up and see hopefully there's some cool stuff inside awaiting for us but not only do we get more packs i think you get four in this so let's lift this up and you get a really cool promo card which is the sylveon v so we'll add that into the giveaway as well um so like i said guys make sure you get involved in the giveaway hit that like button subscribe and comment down below your favorite tin from today's video so the packs inside are as follows we get a brilliant stars which is a brilliant start we get two very nice we get a fusion strike and another chilling rain. Okay, so it's literally pretty similar to the uh, the mini tin. However, we do get two bonus brilliant stars packs, which obviously has the alternate Charizard. It's on the screen right now. It's absolutely crazy. Love that card. Um, probably my favorite all art from the Sword and Shield era. But let's open up Chilling Rain again and see if we can pull something crazy. Right here we go. Quillfish, Slowpoke, Weedle. We're gonna zoom in a little bit. We get a Clobopus. Peony and a Lycan Rock. Okay, we get some first pack magic from this tin. Um, we're already level with the mini tin hit, so we will take that. Also, there are some code cards for you guys as well. Mm -hmm. Moving on now to Fusion Strike. Let's see if we can get one of those Mew cards. Mew's my second favorite Pokemon, just behind Charizard. And it'd be cool to get that Rainbow Rare, as mentioned. But we don't, we get an Azumarill. But now, guys, we have the Brilliant Stars packs. I'm going to move this hit right over there. So we have the main focus on these incredible incredible cards that could be behind this pack right here hopefully we can get a cool trainer gallery and even a charizard v star rainbow or oh uh, okay we get a mewtwo that's really cool artwork why didn't they make that hollow and once again code card right there right last pack of the second tin uh, and this tin actually goes for around 20 dollars i believe um, around that kind of ballpark so you're kind of doubling up in terms of uh, price to pay for the tin but you also get double the amount of packs um, compared to the first one and we get a star you in this pack right here can we pull ourselves a oh up uh, <sighs> empoleon hollow not too bad two hits out of four pretty much the same odds it was 50 percent in the two tins we've opened so far let's move on to another one which is even bigger all right next tin guys we are going up and up a level right now we have one of my favorite tins in the last four to five years it is a Charizard GX from Hidden Fates. Guys, this is one of the best sets in the modern era for sure. In the last five years, easily. You have some incredible, incredible cards in this set and the shiny subset as well, which has a Charizard in also. And you guys know 
Charizard's my favorite Pokemon, so hopefully we can pull that elusive shiny Charizard GX. We'll add this into the promo as well, so one lucky person will get a Charizard for themselves. And let's see what we can get in these packs right here. Let's zoom in and go. We'll say that Charizard packs will last, and we'll go for the legendary birds up first. Oh, come on. Can we get the Charizard from this tin? Now, this tin is actually going up and up in price right now. It's probably around $50 to $60. Oh, my God. Yo. We get a triple threat rainbow rare Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. I don't know why they typed it in that order because it's Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres, but we move. We get a rainbow rare to start us off in the first pack. There is also a code card for one person. So yeah, as mentioned, guys, uh, there's a code card. This tin goes for around $50 to $65. Um, it kind of varies in that sort of price. Um, and you get four hidden fates packs, which is awesome. So let's see if we can go two for two in the Hidden Fates tin. Can we get a shiny Pikachu? We get a Voltorb coughing. Cubone, that is awesome artwork right there. Come on, shiny. We do, we get a Poipol shiny, baby shiny from the subset, the shiny vault. Look at that, so cool. And then a non-holo Mew. I wish they made that holo, that'd be sick. Mewtwo pack up next. Can we get more hits than two? Two's the record so far, and they haven't been um, the highest in value. Probably the Hidden Fates tin is already eclipsing the hits from the uh, other two tins so let's go that was a big hit with the uh, rainbow rare right there but i want to see the charizard i'll take the mewtwo i do like the ho-oh too as well so let's see if we can get another shiny in at the oh my goodness oh my goodness we get altaria gx shiny and it is a full art oh my goodness guys this is why this tin is a little bit more expensive because of the packs, and this is just so fun to open. Oh, and we get a Hollow Eevee too. Look at that. Spot the Voltorb. So yeah, as mentioned, um, in my opinion, this is definitely the best tin that we've opened so far. Some really nice hit. We've, we've actually had four hits in three packs, and uh, like I said, Hidden Fates was just so fun to open, and this is why the tin goes for quite a bit. But let's see if we can get some last pack magic. Rest in peace, Fairy Energy. No longer a thing in the Pokemon TCG. Let's see what we can get. We get a Paras Charmander. Come on, Charizard would absolutely top this off right now. We get a Slowpoke, a Bills Analysis, and then a non-holo wheezing. Great. And now we have the big tin, people. We have the Pikachu and Zekrom GX Tag Team tin, which goes for around $100. And look at the promo card. We're going to open this up, have a look at the packs, and an even more closer look at this promo card. Let's do this. All right, we're zoomed in. Let's lift the lid on this bad boy. So we got a GX Tag Team token here, or I don't know what you call this, just like a thing which you would use in the TCG. We're going to have a look at this promo. Look at this. That artwork is crazy. Here is the the promo card right here people and look at it honestly the look at zekrom's eyes and you've got pikachu holding on for dear life here is the condition of it as well i actually isn't too bad the corners are kind of like lifted i might put this in the psa submission to see how it does because there's actually no like white marks on it but they're actually there's a do you know what there isn't but they're lifted corners as you can see right here so it'll be interesting to see what this comes back at from PSA. But then more importantly, guys, we have the packs inside. Now, I do believe that there are different versions of these tins that have different packs in. Uh, and there's, I don't know if there's a way to tell, but we are starting off with a Crimson Invasion pack from Sun and Moon Era. Oh, baby. We get a Burning Shadows pack, which can have the Rainbow Rare Charizard GX. We then get a Sun and Moon base pack. And to finish it off, we get an xy steam siege pack so to probably say in terms of pack value for tin value you probably aren't getting the same amount of value in packs that you do for paying for the tin but these are older sets now and the best pack here is definitely this burning shadows and we even get an xy uh, era pack too so let's open these up and see what is inside all right we're going to open up xy steam siege now this is arguably probably one of the worst sets of all time everyone knows that this isn't the best set there isn't that many big hits in it but uh we're going to open this up and see what we can get hopefully we can get i think there's like a guard of war in the set um which is like probably the best set so uh, best card so we get c dot Drifloon. oh my goodness we get a reverse hollow rare evetal look at the reverse on that that's actually really nice. That's really cool. Okay, can we get a big hitter? Bruh. Oh, 
God, yeah, this this is uh this is not the best set. This is definitely not the best set out there. All right, Sun and Moon pack up next. I think, if I remember rightly, there could be an Evolution full art in this set. Um, if anyone knows their sets, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. And like I mentioned, I'm going to be giving hits away in this video. All you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment down below. If you could pick any of the tins, or what was your favorite tin? Just let me know in the comment section down below. Look at that Psyduck. That is awesome. Boon Sweet. We get a, li a Lillipup, Dratini, Wingull, Stoutland. And a hollow. We do get hollow. We get hollow Krugdahl. Actually, the hollow on that is really nice. Second to last pack, we have the Crimson Invasion. And then last pack, guys, if we pull the Rainbow Rare Charizard, we have instantly made our money back. Literally instantly made our money back on this 10. Right, one, two, three, four. Let's see what we can get from Crimson Invasion. I haven't opened up a lot of this set, um, so I can't remember the hits in this. But hopefully there is one at the end of this pack. We have a Staryu, Houndor. Salandit reverse hollow and another hollow hit we get an agron yo the artwork on that is sick so far so good in terms of hits we've had two out of three if we can make it three out of four i'll be very happy and especially if that fourth hit is the rainbow red oh my goodness i'm seeing i'm seeing a charmander i am seeing a charmander is that a sign right one two three four come on rainbow rare charizard i have to sprinkle the pokemon spice and hope we get it Come on, here we go. Dusclops, guys, if you want to see more of these type of videos, feel free to let me know in the comment section. Hit that like button so I know you've enjoyed it. And make sure to subscribe. We're closing in on 20,000 subscribers and good luck to everyone entering the giveaway. We get a Surviper, Reverse Hollow, and the final hit is... Oh my goodness.